we gotta use the match recovery rope. It's been a minute. So we got a call for a truck that is stuck down in the little filled area in some sandy gravel. We're gonna head down there and see if we can get them out. We've got a lovely Jamie with the weather. It's about 70 degrees, a really beautiful Saturday afternoon. We also got Peanut back there. Hey Peanut. Who's your good dogs? Oh yeah, it's you. You're the good dog. Hang on, let me groom you really fast. Oh, I'm getting groomed. You're, you can tell that you laid down to take a nap. I did. I got a nap today. It's my first nap in 33 years. So we're heading down there in Blue Steel. This truck is amazing. Robbie, Robbie has turned a really good truck into a really great truck. It is so much better at towing and hauling with the airbags. There's a little bit of extra weight on the bed, which actually plants the truck a little better. It's just, it's just a nice rig. He updated this thing. I didn't know how the old one works and this one's even more complicated so whatever it's on when I get in the truck that's what it's gonna stay on I I don't I don't he doesn't so I was thinking after the recovery that I was gonna stick around with you guys a little bit longer and answer all of your questions every once in a while we just get so many of one kind of questions we just have to address it so we're gonna do that today but we're gonna start with one right now like I said earlier, we've got the Morver on the back there and we've got this question quite a bit over the years. And the question is, how do you choose whether or not you take the Morver or the banana if it's a job that they could handle? And Jamie's here to answer that question. Jamie, why did we take the Morver? Well, today I got to choose what we took and I chose the Morver. You heard it here first, folks. We just pick the one we want to take and we take it. Sometimes it's the more rare, sometimes it's the banana. Like I said, don't forget, after this recovery, we're gonna do like a bunch of them. Well, look what just came on. So Matt, why are all your vehicles always on E and why do you always run out of gas? Well, first of all, I don't always run out of gas, but sometimes I run out of gas. Why are they always on E? <sighs> I am wired in a particular way different than most humans where I am so bored with stopping at the gas station and getting gas and putting it in there. I am so incredibly bored with the idea of having to stop what I'm doing and get gas that it causes me emotional pain. And so um, that's why. It's not just gas though. Like I don't like stopping to eat. I don't like stopping to, to sleep. Use the bathroom. I don't like stopping to use the bathroom. I, well, whatever I'm doing, I do not like to stop. Don't like it. I do not want to stop doing that thing and do another thing. I don't want to take a break. The first job I ever had, young kid, I was still in high school, um, 15 or 16, and I'd always worked with my dad and my first job they're like oh you get a 15 minute break between when you start and lunch and I'm like what am I gonna do for 15 minutes when I'm at work that would be worth my time turns out it's nothing so I would just work through my breaks I would work through my lunch break and that's just how I've been my whole life well this will solve the first problem that we've encountered on this job so far we interrupt this amazing video to ask for your help we have the off-road games coming soon. It's gonna be here in March. Formerly known as the Off-Road Wrecker Games. This event is gonna consist of YouTubers with off-road vehicles being paired with YouTubers that do not know how to drive off-road. We're gonna be putting the non-drivers in the seats of the vehicles being coached by the YouTubers that do have off-road vehicles. What I need you to do is in the comments, I need you to tell me who should come to this event. Who do you know that has off-road content and you would like to see them participate? And who's your favorite YouTuber that doesn't do off-road stuff? To see who's the best at this arbitrary, meaningless thing we're putting on. If you were a little bit sad because I didn't say anything about off-road wreckers, don't worry, we do have an off-road wrecker event. If you've been building one or know somebody that has one, let us know where it's gonna be awesome. More details on that to come, but right now, who do you wanna see in the seat of an off-road vehicle that shouldn't be there? Now, back to the video. Yeah, 
camera kit here. I'm walking over here. So I came over and just opened this gate. It's the gate they want us to keep closed right here. So we're having Jamie drive. All right, we are on our way. According to the GPS, we've got 2.2 miles of zigzaggy road. Eh, not too bad, but a little bit. And then it looks like they turned up a gravel wash. I don't know why. I don't care why. We're just gonna go get a map. All right, we're less than a mile out and Peanut wants to run. So, Peanut, get on out. There she goes. I think I see it up there, up ahead in the distance. I see a flickering light. Well, hello. We finally made it. Yeah. So is your four wheel drive not working? No, it's Tried locking in the hubs? No. Let's, let me just check that really, really quick. Anything out here? No, I didn't even get a chance. Though. Yeah. Uh, There's not. A, I mean, this is the best line going out. It's just kind of crossways in the hallways. What do we have up front? That's another. There's really nothing up here. This isn't hooked on amazing, and there's nothing. There's nothing on it. So I think we should go backwards. So that's what we'll do. We'll go backwards. What would you do, Jamie? Well, there's not a lot of room here to pull. I mean, I can pull. Yes, you can pull that way, but you'd have to pull crooked. Yes. That'd be a tricky pull. It would probably work, though. I mean, there's lots of ways to get you out of here. I just want to do the one where I'm not like driving through bushes. Yeah, I get you. Let's do, a, let's do a short one. I'm gonna do a short one and I'm just gonna pull that way. Um, it's just gonna sit and spin because that wheel's completely off the ground. Okay. So just let off the brake on my first pull. You don't have to give it any gas. Okay. Do you want me to turn the wheel at all? Um, yeah, I turn, you're gonna turn it hard to the right. Like that. Yeah, just like that. Okay.
worked. All right, Jamie. All right, there you go. Those of you that were waiting for the tire spinning, gravel throwing, kinetic recovery, we finally got one. We had to go all the way to Arizona to do it. So are you heading out to the gate out there? Yeah. Okay, we'll see you out there and we'll get you a shirt. Okay. Awesome. There you have it. Did they give it the right amount of gas? I think so. We got it out of there. Hey, Peanut, how you doing? This gravel, the sandy gravel is kind of bottomless. When you start going down, you go down quick and then there's nothing to stop you. Yeah, it took me a minute where I wasn't just spinning. I was excited that we finally got a, to use the match recovery rope. It's been a minute. So he was out here deer hunting. Yeah. That's crazy that there's deer out here. Yeah, don't, don't fool, don't fool yourself. There's deer out here. Why do I always forget how good this thing rides? What have I been driving lately that doesn't ride this good? For record? No, blue steel. Okay, Caesar, what size shirt do you want? Uh, gonna... For real? Yeah, for real. There you go. Okay, fella. Ready to go for a ride, Jamie? Yep. Peanut. I was just gonna say, kind of seems to be in the way. It's not going anywhere. Okay, as promised, we're gonna be answering some questions. Did Caitlin replace Lizzie? I think that's a weird question. I'll just try to answer it though. Um, of course, Caitlin did not replace Lizzie. Lizzie is her own unique person. We love Lizzie to death. We miss her a ton. And we are looking forward to working with Caitlin, who is her own person. And that's that. Yes. Why does the wrecker squeak so much? When we put the wrecker together, we were trying to use the polyurethane bushing hybrid uh, rod ends or joint ends or whatever. Um, we were using the Barnes Enduro joints and the wrecker was just too muy forte for those joints. And it was kind of wiping them out. So we had to go to Heim joints. I didn't want to use Heim joints because they squeak. They're a dry spherical joint and they just squeak. Now you can spray them with stuff every single day and they'll be quiet, but it's a very tedious task to do that. We're gonna try to do it because it also bothers me when I watch the videos. It doesn't bother me in real life, but since we live in YouTube land, we gotta do things to keep you happy. Okay, here's the next one. When are you gonna finish the wrecker? Oh boy, that is a great question. The, the thing about that is the wrecker, the Morver, the Banana, Blue Steel, they're all still kind of in beta testing. Some of them are in early beta, some are in later beta. The Wrecker is still in very, very early. So it is a prototype that we built and we put it to work before it was finished as part of the testing and uh, research for what we needed it to do and how it would perform. We found out a lot working it and we've made a couple of course corrections. Don't need this anymore that we have actually started implementing. We haven't really filmed some of it, but when we get to a point where we're ready to do some big stuff, we'll catch it back up to speed. I, I, I would like to point out that a project of this magnitude should take a decade and a large team of people. And we did it with a ragtag small team 
in like a year and a couple of months. So I'm very, I'm very proud of my team for helping me do that. Very pleased with the results, but I also understand that this was a huge task that is not gonna be finished anytime soon, but we will still be using it, testing it, upgrading it. And to get it to the point of finished, um, I would say we're probably three or four years from finished. And that would put it in the same position that the banana and the Morver is, where they're in the, the later stages of beta testing. Where are all the sand rescues? That's another excellent question. And the answer has everything to do with water. We had a very wet winter and it kept the sand moist and that kept a lot of people out of the sand. The other thing it did was filled the reservoir. We've had an overabundance of water and the reservoir has been completely full all summer long. So if you remember back to some of our older jobs, we had jobs that were in the mud on the edge of the lake and lots of them in the sand when the when the water recedes there's you know 150 yards of new sandy beachfront so since the lake is completely full we don't have the mud flats and we don't have that super long beach so we just haven't been getting any jobs out at sand hollow none of them that are further than a couple of feet off the road anyway so yeah you're just not seeing those cuz they're just not happening so everybody just hope we get a drought again <laughs> No. <laughs> and the sand rescues will be back. Will you get the bomb be ready in time for winter? Probably. Mm, possibly. One of those two. I know we're going to get this question. Why are you hauling the Morver down on the trailer instead of driving it? There's a couple reasons why we're trailering. So we have this kind of loose rule that if it's more than an hour away, we trailer because that gives us two vehicles, which increases our chance of making it home tonight. But also this truck is quiet and there's a lot more room in it. So it's less fatiguing to travel on the highway. While the Morver and Banana are both fully capable of keeping up with traffic, they are fatiguing to drive due to interior noise, um, heat, and their, uh, yeah, it's basically those two things. We did the Rubicon in the Morver. It was like 1,200 miles round trip, and it was fine, but Blue Still is way more comfy. Word up. All right, I've got my full 14 hours in today, so I'm gonna go home. Thanks for watching. I was just thinking how disappointing to not go deer hunting. <laughs>